Hi everyone, today I am excited to share my favorite way of doing an email mail merge. We are be using tools that are accessible to everyone and won't cost you anything. No subscription needed. We will use Excel Online together with Power Automate to perform a mail merge and send email through Microsoft Outlook. If you have never used Excel Online or Power Automate before, don't worry. I'm going to make everything super clear by guiding you through each step. So don't worry, I have got your back. First off, you might be wondering what is Mail Merge? Imagine you have a large distribution network and you are launching a new product. You need to send an email to all your distribution members, perhaps talking about what happened during the year. You want to customize each message, addressing individual personally, dear, like dear Uncle Arlo or dear Auntie Mary. You might also want to include specific details such as mentioning their children's birthday or celebrating milestones, typing and sending out 100 emails manually can be incredibly time consuming. Instead, let's reply on the computer to do the heavy lifting for you. By customizing all these messages, we will send up an email table with the necessary information and then use Power Automate to send out the email via Microsoft Outlook. We will start with the basic and then I will show you how to perform the more advanced mail merge including customizing the subject line, adding attachments and using BCC or CC. Ready to dive in? Let's get on the PC and see how it's done. On your PC, start by going to office.com. If you have a Microsoft account, simply click on the sign in. As I mentioned earlier, this process is completely free and requires no subscription. If you don't have a Microsoft account yet, you can sign up for free version. Just follow the prompt to create your free account. After signing up, log in to access the authenticated version of office.com. Once you logged into office.com, your first task is to create an Excel sheet that will hold all the information we want to include in your emails. So click on the Excel on the left hand side. This will open the Excel startup. I will start with the blank document. If you already have data in an existing Excel spreadsheet, ensure it's saved on OneDrive as using Excel Online will automatically save new documents here. In this new blank workbook in Excel Online, you will need to enter the data for your mail merge. Fortunately, I already have some data ready to use. So now I have pasted the data in the Excel sheet and I will like to explain what included. There are several columns, one for the customer name, another for email address. For simplicity, I have using the same email address here, but in an actual mail merge, each entry would have a different email. So there are also a column showing how many boxes of candle each customer ordered and the total amount due for those orders and the due date. With the mail merge, I will take this information and insert it into personalized email message. For instance, we might have a message that says, Hi Arlo, your order is 49 candles is due on 22nd of June for the amount of $15,000. Each customer will receive their own customized email. It is crucial to ensure that the email addresses and any other details you want to personalize are included in your spreadsheet. This data will be the source of all the customization of your email message. After entering all the data into an Excel spreadsheet, there are a couple of things you need to do before moving on to Power Automate. First, rename your spreadsheet with easier identification. Instead of default book one, I have renamed mine to Candle Mail Merge. Now next, you need to convert your data into a table format. Highlight all the data with your mouse. Go to the Home tab. Click on Format as Table. 
in the home ribbon. Choose any table style you prefer. The design doesn't matter as long as it's formatted as a table. So I prefer this. A dialog box will appear asking you to confirm that your table has headers. Make sure the box is checked and you will see headers like name, email, boxes of candles, etc. and click OK. Now all your data is in table format and you are ready to move on to Power Automate. Now return to office.com where you will access Power Automate. If you are not familiar with Power Automate, it's a tool that allow you to automate various tasks and connect different services. Today, we will be linked Excel online with email, but its capabilities extend far beyond that. If you have used if this, then that before, Power Automate functions similarly. To find Power Automate, click on the icon in the bottom left corner for all apps. This will display all the apps available to you even with the free account. Locate Power Automate on the right hand side and click on it to get started. We will keep things simple with the basic mail merge. On the left hand side, select the create option. This brings up a screen where we can create different type of flows. We can automate flows and even send a scheduled flow like sending an email every week. For our purpose though, we want to create an instant flow. This means that when you have your Excel spreadsheet ready, you can send out bulk email to the list of people in that spreadsheet by triggering the flow manually. So let's click on the instant cloud flow. This opens the instant flow creation dialog. First, we need to name our flow. So I am going to call it candle mail merge. After typing in the name, we need to choose how to trigger this flow. So I want to manually trigger it. So I will select that option and then click on create. Now we can start building our flow or mail merge. The first step is to click on the new step we need to connect to our excel spreadsheet and we will be using it for the mail merge if you have a work or a school account choose excel online for business and if you are using a personal or free account select excel online for customer i'm going to search for excel and when i type it excel online on drive will appears Let's click on that. Next, we see the variety of actions we can perform on our Excel spreadsheet. Power Automate offers many automation options such as adding or deleting row based on different triggers. For our mail merge, we need to select list rows present in the table. This section will fetch all the data from the table in your Excel spreadsheet and make it available for the mail merge. Click on this options. Now we need to choose the file for our mail merge. Clicking on the picker opens the file selection window, showing all the files in the OneDrive account. Ensure your Excel file is saved in OneDrive. If you created it in Excel online, it should be there by default. I see my candle mail merge file at the bottom. I will select it for the mail merge. Next, we need to specify the table within the Excel sheet. That's why it is essential to format your data as a table. I will choose table two, but you can name your table something more descriptive for clarity. With the spreadsheet connected, we now need to add the email step. Click on the new step again. So far, we have fetched the data from the Excel spreadsheet. Now, we will set up the action to send out the emails. I'm getting the data from the Excel spreadsheet and now it's time to take another action. Sending out the emails using Outlook. 
To do this, I will search for Outlook. If you have the free customer account, use Outlook.com. As mentioned earlier, you are not limited to Outlook. Any email provider connected to Power Automate will work. For this example, I am using Outlook.com which is accessible with the free Microsoft account. Once you select Outlook.com, you will see the variety of actions you can take. We need to choose send an email. This opens a field where we can start customizing our email. At the top, specify the recipient, click on the to field, then add dynamic content to pull in the email addresses from the Excel spreadsheet. Select the email address column from your Excel data. Now we can set up a subject for the email. One great feature of Power Auto Automate is the ability to customize the subject line, which you cannot do with a traditional mail merge in Microsoft Word. For instance, type the recipient name and then something like your candle invoice is due on. Now you have to specify the date. So insert the name and due date using dynamic content. So here I will select the area where I want to type the name. Simply press name and here due on due date from your Excel spreadsheet. Next compose the body of the email. Click into the body field and start typing your message. I have already drafted my message. Use dynamic content to personalize it, such as inserting the recipient name. So I type dear, now select name, the amount due, and the number of boxes ordered. For instance, dear, I have added name. We hope you enjoyed our candles. Your bill for, now here I need to add amount due for, now here I need to add number of boxes of candles is due on. Now here I need to add the date. Now it's almost complete. Dear, the name of the recipient. We hope you enjoyed your candles, your bill for amount due for boxes of candle is due on due date. So using dynamic content, you can easily customize each part of your message. So at the bottom of your email, you might add your personal touch such as thanks and regards. So with the recipient email, a customized subject and a personalized body, we are almost done. So click show advanced options here to specify the additional details like the sender, CC, the BCC. Unlike the traditional mail merge in Word, Power Automate allows for CC and BCC options. You can also attach files. I will show you how to include an attachment after sending out the initial mail merge. Once everything is set up, click save. Now we have finished creating the mail merge. All our data is in Excel and the message is customized. Go back to the main flow screen from here where you will see details about the flow you created including previous runs and connections to Excel online and Outlook.com. To run the mail merge, click run on the top. This open the pen on the right which checks connection to the Excel sheet and Outlook.com. The first time you do this, you will need to log in again to ensure connections. Once connected, click continue and then run flow to start sending emails. You can track the progress. You can track the progress on the flow run page. So when completed, you will see that the emails have been customized and sent successfully. All my four emails are received in my own email address. Now let's go back to Power Automate and include an attachment in your mail merge. Now click my flows on the left. Find the candle mail merge. I already have one flow available and click on it. On the top left, click on added to add another step. Hover over your flow 
to add a new action. So search for OneDrive. Depending on your account type, select OneDrive for business or OneDrive. Choose Get File Content. It must be this and select the file you want to attach from OneDrive. So you have to click on this picker, click on this show contents. And here is all the files you have already available in the OneDrive. So here is my catalog. I simply select it. After specifying the file, included it in the email step by adding the attachment as dynamic content. Now click on apply to each. Now here again click on this send an email. You will check out all the previous settings here. Now here you have to click on this attachment contain. Now that, that will open dynamic content. Now here is your file you need to attach. You have to add the name of the file. So I add candle.docx. So once you satisfied with it, save the flow and run it again. For that you need to go back, click on run, click on run flow, click done. Go back to your outlook and you will see the customized messages with the attachment included. So I double click on it. Now if you notice formatting issues with amount and dates, it is the best to convert these fields to text in excel before running the mail merge again go to that excel file here select all your dates click right mouse button click on format cell and here change to text now this ensure they appears correctly in the email you also need to select the amount here change it to the dollar now the amount is with the dollar sign and when you resend your email these minor correction will be appeared to your recipient. So finally always test your mail merge by sending it to yourself first. This ensure everything is working as expected before sending it out to a large number of recipients. This example demonstrate how to perform an advanced mail merge for free using Excel online and Power Automate. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. If you have any topic you would like me to cover, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.